Hello, good morning. I know that there's quite a few people who are new to Shakeology in this group, and so what I thought I would do is actually just kind of share my morning routine with you to see how to make it. Now, on the back of the packages or on the back of the full package, it'll give instructions on how you can just mix and shake with water and maybe add ice. Yes, you can absolutely do that. I am not a fan of making it that way um, because then to me it tastes like a protein powder and that's not what I enjoy at all. So I'm gonna show you what I make. I always think of it like a smoothie. And so you'll be adding ingredients in order to make it like a smoothie, whatever you would enjoy. Today, I am in a chocolate mood, which is actually really funny because I'm not a huge chocolate fan, um, but I do like the chocolate Shakeology. And so I'm gonna make a chocolate peanut butter one. I like to call it my Reese's, um, although it's a lot healthier than what you typically find in a Reese's peanut butter cup, but it gives me the same flavor, which I really enjoy. So I'm gonna show you what I do. I start with the base of a liquid. I like to use almond milk. It's one of my favorites. I use the unsweetened almond milk. It doesn't really add a whole lot of protein, but I like the flavor that it gives. And so I usually add about a cup. Now I'll tell you, I am not hugely concerned when it comes to calories. I'm not counting calories, which means that I, um, I kind of eyeball everything when I'm making my shakes. <laughs> if you're concerned about calories, then you'll want to make sure that you're measuring everything appropriately. But I got a little measuring in here where I know the line is for a cup. So I usually put in about a cup of almond milk. Then, um, in order to make it more smoothie-esque, I always put in ice. So I've got my ice right here. I'm going to put in, and I just do a few handfuls. Um, the more ice that you put in, the more liquid you need to put in to make it so that it's actually a smooth texture. But I like it for the coldness, and so that's what I enjoy. Um, next, what I'll go ahead and do is add in my scoop of Shakeology. If you're using the packets, you can go ahead and just put in your packet. Um, if you are starting out new with Shakeology, I really recommend starting with a half of a serving. There are a lot of digestive enzymes in there that can really wreak havoc on your abdominal um, region, like in your small intestines, if you're not used to it. And so uh, it's like the same thing as like if you go um, out hiking and you completely change the way you're eating overnight to go to like gorp and dried foods, your, your system just doesn't work really well with that. And so what I do is suggest at least a half a serving for a couple of days. Some of you guys are going to be doing a half a serving all throughout in order to try all the different flavors, which is perfectly good. Now, my next favorite additive when I put in is peanut butter. I love the flavor of peanut butter. I'm not interested in all of the calories and the fat in it all the time. So I actually use PB2. I ordered mine off of Amazon, and I actually, this one I got off of Groupon. It was the cheapest way to do it. I do two tablespoons, which gives me a good flavor of um, peanut butter, but it doesn't give me all of the fat and the calories. It actually is only 45 calories, um, and it's peanuts that have just been pressed down into a powder, but it gives me the flavor of it, which is what I really like. As I said, I kind of eyeball it. I just put two tablespoons in. If I was doing real peanut butter, I would make sure that I'm sticking a lot lower on that just because it packs so many calories in it and I don't want to spend all of my calories at the beginning of the day, but I like the flavor of it. Now, you could just stick with this. I like to do a little bit of additives. Um, I like to put greens in mine. I usually do spinach or a baby kale. This actually was in the freezer in order. I keep mine in the freezer that I use for my smoothies so that I always have it on hand and it doesn't go bad. I hate when I open up the fridge and find out like, oh, my spinach already went bad for the day and I can't put it in my smoothie. So I actually just go ahead and keep it in the freezer and then just restock it each time. I usually put about a cup in, maybe a cup and a half or so. Um, but if you're using fresh, that it works well as well. And I figure it's a way just for me to start my day with leafy greens, which I think is never a bad idea. Then I think the key to Shakeology is always including banana, at least a half of a banana. And this is just a half that I'm putting in. Again, I kept mine in the freezer so that I never run out of them or that they've never gone bad. So I just buy tons of bananas. I let them get so that they're nice and ripe, but not overly ripe. I'll cut them in half and put them in the freezer. And then I just always have them. And when I get down to just a few more left, I'll make sure that I'm buying more bananas. And that way also my, I don't like wake up and have my kids having eaten all my bananas and not have one. Why I like the banana in the Shakeology is that it really helps with texture and creaminess for me. So if you're drinking Shakeology and you're like, oh, I just am not quite in love with it, I swear to you the half a banana is the world of difference when it comes to it. 
So I only put in a cup of fluid and you notice that I've got a lot more in here um, than just that. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water just to kind of bring it. I want the consistency to end up being a thin milkshake consistency, not one that you can't suck up in a straw. You want it easily to be able to do that. But I just want it a thin consistency. So I always start with less water and then as I'm blending it, I'll add a little bit more until I actually see really good motion in the blender. Now, this is what I put in mine. Sometimes I'll add in other things. Like for instance, I really like whole rolled oats in mine as well. I actually ran out of them, so I don't have them this morning to be able to put into mine. It's also a way, like I like to eat a little bit of carbs in the morning um, just to keep me satisfied throughout the day a little bit more. And so I'll just put in like, a, usually about a fourth of a cup to a half of a cup, depending on how hungry I am that morning. Um, but usually around a fourth of a cup of rolled oats and I love the um, texture that it brings to the smoothie. Um, I blend it up really well when I do that. Um, if I was doing a strawberry one, I would be putting in some of my berries. I love my blueberries in my strawberry one with a half a banana, and I always put in kale or spinach. Um, there's tons of ideas if you're needing more recipe ideas in the file section of this group page uh, for all the different flavors that we have. I stick mainly to the vegan flavors, so I do chocolate and strawberry the most, but um, they all are good flavors. It just depends on what your preference is. Then I just make sure that I'm blending for about 45 seconds or so to get it nice and blended up. Usually the thing that doesn't blend for me very well is the frozen banana. So I make sure that I just get that frozen bl banana blended up. Otherwise I'll end up with some chunks of banana in it, which isn't bad either but I like to disperse it amongst the whole shake. So I'll blend it for that and then I'll drink it um, before it gets warm. So I usually drink it actually in the car as I'm driving to work. That's typically what I do. I drink every, my breakfast every morning. The whole thing takes me about five minutes to do. I think cleaning up the blender is probably the longest portion of it. Um, I'm not gonna blend for you guys just so you don't have to watch me do that, but I'm about to enjoy my shake as I will hope that you guys will enjoy yours when you start making them. If you have any questions as you're making them, don't hesitate to send me a message or to post it down in the comments below and we can all help you out. I hope you guys have a good weekend and I can't wait to start tomorrow.